Transfigured on the Mount, O Christ our God. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Be Transfigured, where we invite you to live a new life in Christ. We pray that this episode is a blessing to you and will inspire you to rededicate your life to Jesus Christ. We invite you to join us for worship or study at the St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Cathedral in Tarpon Springs, Florida, where visitors are always welcome. We'll be back in a few moments to share some more information about our ministry. My brothers and sisters, today is the Sunday of all saints. So many saints in the life of the church that the church doesn't even know all of their names. And so today we celebrate all of the holy men and women, all of the saints who have lived through the centuries in the truth of Christ. Last week, Father Samson mentioned that we as Orthodox Christians believe the truth of God. We are the true church. And we spoke about the pistevo and the patrimon, the creed and the Our Father, and we have been discussing these past few weeks that we as Orthodox Christians believe the truth about God. And so after last week's sermon, we received a follow-up question. Do you need to be Orthodox to be saved? And the answer, my brothers and sisters, from my vantage point is yes. You must be an Orthodox Christian because Orthodoxy isn't just how we believe but it's how we live. The truth that we proclaim as Orthodox Christians is not just a mental exercise because many Christians believe in Jesus Christ, but they believe in this Jesus Christ or this Jesus Christ or this Jesus Christ or Jesus means this or Jesus means that. There are thousands of different denominations in the world Father Samson found a study that said 34,000 denominations. I found a study that said 43,000 denominations. My brothers and sisters, it is simply not possible. Adinati that 43,000 different answers to the question of who is Jesus Christ can be correct. We have the correct answer. Orthodoxias, the correct doctrine, the correct belief about who Jesus Christ is. And the question included this. How can we as Orthodox Christians, we decide and we declare, I'm sorry, we, we declare ourselves the first church, the original church. And the question came that, well, the Roman Catholic Church is just as old as the Orthodox Church. And the person who asked the question said, the Catholic Church recites the creed. Well, in fact, the Catholic Church has changed the creed. And this is, in fact, one of the big disagreements between us and the Catholic Church. So the Catholic Church of today is not the original Catholic Church like we are. So even the Roman Catholic Church, although on a timeline, on a calendar, they may be just as old as we are, but the other heresies are just as old as well. The Arians have been around since the beginning also, but we don't believe the same things the Arians believe. Iertiki, the heretics. So my brothers and sisters, we take very seriously because what is the truth of Christ? We have been discussing this now for weeks. Jesus Christ came, God himself, one of the Holy Trinity 
came to the earth so that we could be united to him. Not just in the way we think, but in a real unity. This is why St. Paul says, when one suffer, we all suffer. Because when we are baptized into Christ, we are one with Christ. As St. Paul said, it is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And so if I am one with Christ and you are one with Christ, we are one with each other. And so when you hurt, I hurt. When you are honored, I am honored. But it gets even better than that. We are one with Jesus Christ, and Jesus Christ is on the very throne of God. And we are there with him. If we believe the truth that we say we believe. But do we live that truth? The difference, my brothers and sisters, is if we really believed in our hearts that we were one with Jesus Christ and that the other brothers and sisters in our church were one with Jesus Christ, would we have the fasarias that we have? Would we have the arguments that we have? If we really looked at each other as being one, and this is our difficulty, this is our struggle. Our Lord and Savior prayed before he ascended the cross that he says that they may be one as we are one. The Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, one God in total harmony and total unity. Do we live that way? Or do we spend our time focusing on ourselves? It's the human condition. It's what we all struggle with. So if we are honest with each other, then we will admit that we're going to leave this church today and at least once today, if not more, we're going to do something selfish. If we're honest with ourselves, we wake up every morning worrying about ourselves as number one. That's our stavro, that is our cross. Because Christ tells us to live for the other. My brothers and sisters, we should want nothing less than total unity of our community. Being one, being together, being united needs to become the one most important thing of our community. And the only way for us to be together, to us, for us to be truly mazi, is to begin wanting what the other wants and not focusing on ourselves. The orthodox life, this is why it is important to understand why do we have to be orthodox. Because the orthodox Christian life, my brothers and sisters, is given to us by God so that we can learn to live in that real unity that God has given us. Yesterday we had two baptisms. Two more beautiful Christians have joined our body. And now we have to worry and we want to want what they want. That's that 
true Orthodox life. In the history of the church, there have been arguments, if you can believe that, right? There have been arguments in the life of the church. And there have been times where the church said, it is more important for us to be together in unity, in what we say in orthodoxy, in communion. It is more important for us to be together than to be right. Orthodox Christianity is not about right and wrong. I'm going to say that again because it doesn't sound, it sounds strange. Orthodox Christianity is not about being right or wrong. It is about being healthy. And it is about being healed by God. If we spend our entire world focusing on right and wrong, black and white, we're going to miss the love of God. Because the truth is, we're all wrong. We're all wrong. But in orthodoxy, we are being healed by God every day if we open our hearts. And so today we honor those holy men and women, all of the saints who have given us this wonderful example of life. If we live as the saints lived, if we believe as the saints believed, if we love as the saints loved, we will find ourselves in heaven. One last thing about saints, and this will help understand a little bit about Orthodox Christianity as opposed to the rest of the thousands of churches. We all know who Mother Teresa is. Mother Teresa was a wonderful woman. She helped many, many people. She sacrificed herself for many, many people. Yet Orthodox Christians will never call her Saint Teresa because she believed something different about Jesus Christ than we do because she was Roman Catholic. And so when the church places the capital S, and this is what I was suggesting in the bulletin today, when the church puts the capital S in front of someone's name, O Aios Capios, that's the church's way of saying, there is someone's life. Aios Dionysios, aqui. Saint Dionysius there. Saint Demetrius, Saint Elizabeth, Saint Catherine, Ayosava. This is the church saying, live as they lived, believe as they believed, love as they loved. And what do they all have in common? They all put others in front of themselves. This is what it means to be Orthodox Christian, to love and to live as God wants us to love and live together. Mi ecclesia, mi eikoyenia imaste. We are one church, we are one family. And I pray for the day that being together is the most important thing in our lives so we can truly help each other get to heaven and to be face to face with God.
Despres vias dona ion bandon through the intercessions of all the saints. May God bless us and protect us. Glory to God for all things. Be Transfigured is a production of Be Transfigured Ministries in cooperation with the St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Cathedral in Tarpon Springs, Florida. We depend upon your generosity to maintain our ministry. You can make a safe online donation when you visit our website, liveanewlifeinchrist.org.